Hey yo, what's up? Opening it's so painful. I don't think I have something I need to say for now. Go in say, but let's just move to the next section already. Before we go to main content, there's still one challenge in this SSS mod that I didn't finish yet. Toron Mine is what I refer to. I still have zero experience about this map because you see, the reward is still fresh and so my experience too. Definitely I have to try hard for my first game, especially for Sigrid Clear and then Flawless Run for Sacred Medal. After I already understand more deeper for this game mod, I can say this game mod is actually similar like Yu-Gi-Oh! or maybe some other trading card games you may be familiar with but at least Yu-Gi-Oh is the closest one for me and this support operator is actually take the most important role to draw your card, draw your operator before you pick the operator you have to know what kind of stuff you want to start with for like I want to build high speed, high attack speed operator so I need to pick either sniper and inspector both is absolutely good and then I want my operator can do spam skill I need to pick either caster and then specialist but it's definitely a goddamn good and many more depend on the class and the equipment effect you already choose before back then i was looking for passenger with skill 3 and mastery 3 but i found no one actually use it so i have to use one operator in support list but it's not on my friend list, so i got penalty for skill level but I feel like it doesn't matter because that limitation, it does nothing for my strat. So far, not only that I so much enjoy with the strat I start, but I also try something new for like a mad dog that can spin every second, which is so much hilarious for me, but it actually works. It really works anyway. And then with iron with very high attack, which is good against tanky moves. Into I have to face one mob that is super super tanky Even I already spam a lot skill but it's still hard to take down it Which is I was thinking this difficulty is so stupid And I got a lot of footage that I can share with you about the build that I already made with some operator Especially I want this happen in integrated strategy but it just never happened because of the RNG is much painful in there Try to take down one mob that is super tanky is so much satisfying because not only that you need to cast parity skill but you also need to make sure this one dead before it touched my operator and i'm so much satisfied so far until i finally got into the boss and i was right this one is much complicated than iron carrot mine oh damn it it's raining hopefully you guys okay with this so far for the problem i already faced not only about the bad start if an i already kicked down four operator that i don't want in my start hand but also sometimes once I already draw one operator with point, I don't get the operator what I want until I finally got support operator that lead me to turn table the situation. Like my genesis now become a perfect crowd control that can be able to spam his third skill. I actually expect the boss mechanic is actually much painful but it's not. It's actually not a big deal. Until they interrupt my age skill god damn it. All the problems that I already mentioned before it what makes people hate the boss for this game mode. Including me. I feel ya. Yeah. Too much RNG is not good for this game mode. But for me I still can be able to handle the situation because this kind of RNG is already happened for me in other games that I already played before. I need monster to hold the damage at least one. All you skill now, Genosis. Please hit one. Okay, that's so low. Maybe another one. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, that's so close. That's so low. Oh, it doesn't hit. But it's still dead. Oh, it's stopping. I don't have intention that my Lapland is the buff baiter. For, for a stone, I don't know. Let's just kill. Why don't even need to? Alright, so it's so annoying, but I'm not sure if I have to read it as the hardest boss in this SSS mode. But I think the mobs is the stupid one, but I'm still not sure about it. Though. At the end, I got two medals. One which is from I already cleared the challenge, one from I already cleared the challenge without any mistake. And that's on my first run on this buff, which is wonderful. Alright, so finally we are into main content today. But I have to explain something first before we are into it. Back then at CC9, we got a daily challenge with level 16 as a max risk. Which I expect it's gonna be the hardest daily challenge at that period. Back then, I was looking for an interesting operator I wanna debut, but I'm still not sure what operator I wanna start with. 
Even I end up first, I think, but I still need to looking for at least one operator that is so, so much interest for me to debut. Until I finally found one people actually build Erato and it's already on final build, equipped with first skill at Mastery 3. I was thinking Sleep was really good against main stage, which I think the reason this dude build Erato is for that, against the Reaper in the main stage. And finally, I tried to debut her, but back then, it was so much painful to debut because not only for the contract is so much hard but it's so much sensitive for all my durability operator that is uh, get nerfed so hard or maybe it's because the effect of the contract is so much strong for my operators but still I try to I, I still try to build it with everything what I can with all effort that I already put into it by the way I use this card as a sandbag for Erato to support her skill to keep looping and to make sure her skill is always ready before the sleep effect get removed all right now I will use my list card before the coach coming for Erato she need more speed for her skill loop more <laughs> ah, it works <laughs> I wanna be happy but just not yet There's still another pest that I need to remove We are still on very early step But at Pompey case for now At least it's getting controlled now Sleep again it actually, is it disabling the skill or not for, for its explosion, the Pompei one? I, I'm wondering though. That's how I beat the challenge with her. And now let's back to SSS mode. I was looking for Erato and finally found her again with same owner. And now we have two boss controllers for this SSS mode, Genosis and Erato. Perhaps you guys don't know about this, but if you are, I don't care. I still gonna do it anyway. My main mission is of course I need to build one operator with full buff. Either I have to choose between 5 sniper or maybe with 5 specialists because I still need to consider which operator that I want to debut. Or let's say operation to bully the boss. On the midway while well, I was looking for space to destroy one crystal but I found one answer that is so much surprising me while well, I was trying to do that. Alright, you see, the slug isn't affected by sleep, but from my last round before against this slug, I can be able to frost them with Genosis. After that, come with final option. I decided to use Genosis to bully this big slug, but in order to do that, I need 5 sniper buff, which is can increase 200 attack speed for my Genosis, and which is the only way that can be able to bully this big slug. I have to destroy this, but I still need one sniper. Oh nice! I love you game, I love you game, oh my god. I thought I'm not gonna be able to get one. Or I have to restart the game for sure. Now everything is complete. Just need this log to move. And you're gonna see Perma first from Gnosis. <laughs> wow, it really works. Holy shit. I mean, even. The slug only moved for like a bit but it still looked like a permafrost. You see all the combo in here. Angelina for attack speed buff and then Sora for moral support. <laughs> and then Genosis with high attack speed thanks to 5 sniper buff. You know what definitely it's gonna take some time and we are gonna be in here for a while. But I think I wanna make some bet in here. For this enemy level that keep increasing, I wanna bet which one, which level that gonna be stopped before uh, Genosis kill the stop. Maybe either like 30, 31, 32, 33, maybe higher than that, but I think I wanna bet like maybe 32. Yes, I think 32 is fine. Almost there. Getting close. Let it touch 32 first, so I can be proud for that. No! No, it's so damn close! Oh! Wait, does the boss actually have arch resistance? Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Highest record I can achieve now is level 31, not 32. Kinda shame, but okay, I will accept this. 
Alright, let's move to order map. If you watch back my Toran Mine run, you can see Genesis can be able to freeze the boss. So after I watch my last run, I have one speculation that I might be right, I might be wrong either. Maybe Toran Mine boss is not immune to sleep. Like the opposite one from uh, Aaron Carrot boss. Because on my last run, I didn't be able to test with Sora. And at this case, I only have Erato, which is my sleeper operator. Which is, it's kinda risky for me to test until the end, but I still have to try. Before I continue this, I have to explain something. Since Erato skill is auto recovery, I have one speculation that it might be, can be able to help Erato to maintain her skill. Do you know why I use Petilopsis right there? Because of her talent. So I did another upgrade to her module to second stage because I believe it can be much helpful for Erato to maintain her skill without to break the sleep effect for uh, to the boss. So the odd range now on this skill. I can just immediately switch to Xiao and then replace her for Erato. And then to below for Espiridion Pop. And it's complete now. I don't think I need AJ anymore. Oh, he's Oh, damn, I, I was dumb! I should just replace it though. Never mind. Let's see. Oh! I didn't even sleep. Perma sleep is also worse too! Holy shit! Dude, this is insane! Like. Erato will keep bullying the boss though, but I really have to wait again <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna take so much time. Maybe I will finally discover a new level, next level maybe a harder or maybe beyond that. Who knows? I need to know that. I already passed 30 again and then 40 now and then we are close to 50. Maybe there's another level after that. Okay, it's already reached. Wait, there's no bar in there. Probably max level? I guess. And Erato damage doesn't look good though. It only deal 3 digits. I don't think I'm okay with that. I need to prepare my debuff. Only Sailor. Dude, I can't replace anyone in here. Like, not sure I want to. Okay, finally hit the boss. I have to take down this ball though. Oh my! 3 digits again! My drop? I can't defy anyone! Oh, the shield time! Okay, I have to use skill all. Or I bust though. I have to take down this ball! No, 3 digits again! <laughs> oh, it's so tanky. The debuff is so important on trauma. Oh, I can take down these balls! <laughs> Take Gula, please. You are the only one now. <laughs> oh, poor Take Gula. That ball is immortal, though. I deal no damage on it. It's really unbeatable. Or maybe it's still beatable with the buff, but I wasted. But I don't want to reach this level anymore. I don't want to. 